in life, if you want to win, you have to move towards what scares you. Because here's the truth. The only form of winning that's real is fulfillment. It's doing something that makes you feel good about who you are, makes you feel good about who you're becoming. It makes you feel good not only about serving yourself, but being able to serve others. And the only way to do that, the only way is to get outside of your comfort zone. The only way to adapt and grow and improve is to push yourself towards the thing that scares you. Why? Because fear is a response to stakes. It means that there's enough there that matters. And once you identify what matters, then you know what direction you're supposed to take. But whenever you're moving in the opposite direction in the things that scare you, you're moving away from the very things that matter. Your mind triggers because something is a potential for failure. Something is putting you in danger, but the very things that's putting you in danger is almost certainly emotional danger that's living in our thoughts, in our imagination. And the things that carry emotional danger are the things that matter to you. And the things that matter to you are the things that matter most. And so to run in the opposite direction, to allow yourself to give in to that, to allow yourself to see that there are stakes, that it matters, that it has meaning, and to move in the opposite direction is to literally state that you want to stay small. And once you get into that loop, then you begin to erode the thing that matters most. What do you think about yourself? Because here's the reality. Maybe nobody else notices. Maybe nobody else knows what you're running away from. The things that scare you. But you'll know. The one person that none of us can hide from is ourselves. And the only thing that really matters going back to fulfillment, talking about the only way to win, is what we think about ourselves when we are by ourselves. And who's in there in that moment? You. You're the one person that knows whether or not you move towards something when you're afraid. And I'm not saying don't be afraid. We're all afraid. I'm saying don't be crippled by fear. I'm saying let it be your guide. Let it move you in a direction that you accept that even in the face of fear, you can always choose how to act. You can't necessarily choose not to be afraid, but you can choose how to respond to the fear. Once you separate those two things, then you gain control. And being in control of your life is the ultimate way to move forward. But if you see yourself as a victim to your mental states, if you allow your emotions to control what you do and don't do, well then, your mind is a slave to your body. And you've got to rise above that. You've got to have a focus. You've got to have a goal. You have to know what it is that you want to accomplish and regardless whether or not that scares you. In fact, because that scares you, that's got to be the thing that triggers you and push and go and develop yourself and develop that self-worth that comes from facing your fears, doing the hard things, being willing to suffer in service of something you believe in. That's the key. You've got to believe in something. You've got to want something. You've got to want something so bad that suddenly the fear is meaningless in the face of the meaning that is created by doing that thing. By having that sit at the center of who you are and what you're trying to bring. To know your why. To know who you're serving. To know what you're trying to create. To know that you can create it. But you've got to be willing to push through the fear. So stop worrying whether you're afraid and start worrying whether what you're pursuing matters. Because once you have that, you can push through anything. You know, whatever you got to do, you got to keep pushing forward. No matter what the circumstances are, no matter how you're feeling, easier said than done. I, I, I know that, you know. There is that speck of darkness in pursuing your goals that no one really talks about. But if you really want something, sometimes you have to separate how you feel from what you're doing and excel on the days you don't feel like it. Never let that spark die. Peace and love. Turn it off.